Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final of the 2010 Women's A4 uh, here in New South Wales. Our finalists today are Mrs. Budd, <laughs> the recently Mrs. Budd, uh, Jenny Budd, uh, previously known as Jenny McCullough. Uh, congratulations, Jenny. And we also have Mrs. Hass. All right? Haas, even. Uh, Leanne Booth. Uh, well done to both ladies making the final. Uh, shoot well, no punches below the belt, and uh, make it a clean fight. Good luck. Thank you very much, Barry Mavros, there, introducing us into this women's New South Wales final of the eight ball between Jenny Budd and Leanne Hass, and I'm joined here in the commentary box with John O'Collegia. Hey, Jamie, how you going, man? Yeah, good, buddy. This, uh, this looks like it's going to shape up to be a really exciting match, mate. Yeah, well, it should be good. We've got um, two pretty solid players that I've known for quite a while that have definitely been around for a long time. Um, it's good to see them both in the final. Should be a really good match. Nice solid break, a little bit unlucky there. Couldn't actually see who kicked that one off there, John. Uh, uh, that would have been Jenny. I think. Yep, it was Jenny. Got a very solid cue action, Jenny. Very jealous. I've had the pleasure a few times myself, John, of playing uh, Jenny in the league um, up at the Huntsbury in. Uh, Where's the Huntsbury? Petersham. Petersham. And, um, well, she had me on the rail from the start the last time I played her. I think she ran out to the black from the break. And um, uh, that was my uh, that was the second time I played her. And uh, she's left me with the impression that she's she's quite a feisty competitor to, uh, to be playing against, John. Oh, indeed she is. Indeed she is. Leanne's got a good chance to take out the first frame here. Looks like there's not too many problems, but it's pretty tough playing on these um, Wembley tables. Nice and tight pockets. The ball seems to rattle in there. I've heard a few players comment about that quite a fair bit. No, definitely, John. Um, I've actually missed a few vital shots into that corner pocket there that she just shot into. Um, she's left herself a little bit closer this uh, this big, but let's see what she uh, see what she does with this. Probably tried off to play a nice little safety little touch shot. Try to mess up her balls a little bit. So Jen coming to the table now for her first visit. It's not She's a bad shot there by Leanne as well. A little bit of a containing safety. Left it as safe as what maybe she could have. Um, there's, a, there's a ball into the middle pocket there, which Leanne's obviously going to have a go at. If she can just play it gently. I was going to say she could hold for the middle pocket, but she didn't seem to get the pot, so uh, it's back to Jen. Uh, it's always first rack jitters, maybe. It's always a bit, a bit of a test of nerves in situations like this. I think Jen Jenny's had a lot of experience in these sort of um, tight games and all pressure games, really. Bit of awkward bridging there, but she's pulled off a lovely pot down the uh, into this bottom corner pocket. Fantastic shots into the middle pocket there at, at quite, um, at quite, quite of an angle. E each one, you know. Um. Yeah, I think it was always going to be difficult for her because she was just going to leave herself in the back, the same position as before, with a possibly a tough three ball. But nevertheless, she's missed it. And Leanne's back to the table. With a beautiful shot there. That's a great shot. Shot Leanne. I think first solid chance of the game here to uh, take out the first frame. And I believe this is only a race to five. Just five, so it should be fairly quick. I mean, you really want to try to make the most of your chances in games like this because, you know, one or two frames can really be the difference. It's only a race to five, so you really want to make sure of every ball that you can. That's a 
the bump off the rail there. Nice shot. She's left herself nice with this uh, this big into the corner pocket. She can draw the white ball back a little bit. She's going to have a, a nice easy black into the same bag. A beautiful shot. That's an excellent shot. Nice finish. It was a nice finish. A little stun run through there for that black. That was beautiful. Got alternate breaks here on the finals. Red ball potted again. Tough table to make a ball on, Jamie. Was that the um, the LA Tavern this week? Uh, this uh, last weekend, John, for the um, for a Q World event, um, and they had some. Uh, they had a they had a competition for who can pot as many off the break. You uh, wouldn't want to be playing on this table, then. Mate, it was there were hard pockets to sh um, to to pot balls off the break. You know. I can imagine. Really difficult, and um, these tables are no different. These tables. What tables are these, Jamie? I believe these are Brunswick. Brunswick um, tournament, edition, tournament edition tables. Pretty tight pockets. Not the easiest ones to play on. <coughs> I think it favours more the safety orientated player. Definitely, uh, definitely quite, quite tight pockets. These ones compared to with. Um, I've been down Q is it Q City the other uh, the other pool hall in the city there, John? Yeah, that's the one. And um they do have much more generous pockets at that at that venue. But um uh, Wembley does hold a good ev good event though. It did help the last what would you call it the last five or six or maybe about that. It's always a good venue to play at. Kim's a very good host. That's right. And Leanne Potting a nice ball down the cushion there, leaving herself another nice shot into the corner pocket. She looks really comfortable playing as well, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. And for the bank in the middle pocket. Oh, and that is it. She needs to pull off a nice shot here, though. Some players really do just seem to pot the doubles with ease you know and I've, I've, I've always found them quite difficult shots it's just not something that comes to me naturally the doubles if um, a lot of players might even leave themselves a double on purpose rather than try and break the ball out whereas myself I always try and get the ball out you know well, I think it depends on the double I think when they're sort of near the middle pocket and just a little bit off the rail and if you've got a good position in the white I think it's a fairly confident shot to play but you do have to play it confidently Absolutely. In the final of the men's on the weekend, Benji was banging in the doubles. I was very impressed. Yeah, um, well, Benji's a good player. Was that Ben uh, Lebarpi, was it? Yeah, that's right. The, uh, he, he's, he frequents uh, uh, Wembley here on a Wednesday night as well for their competition. Who did he <coughs> been in the final? Terry Lai. Terry Lai. What a player that Terry Lai is, eh? A good player, good player, Terry. Four, four, games to, um, four games to one, though, or two, oh. if I remember rightly. Um, by Benji, he played absolutely brilliantly. Nice safety there by the end. No, she's playing very well, the end. She's missed a couple of shots, but she definitely has a left nice screen she's missed, and she's played some nice safeties just to keep Jenny at bay. Jenny hasn't really had any nice chances to get a frame in. It's only one nil, but. Well, she's going for the blue. I was wondering if she could hit this one up the cushion, but obviously she can't. A solid shot there. Got some good queuing. Nice one, Jenny. It was a good shot there by Jen, and she's so she's recently got married, uh, d um, John, to um, to sh Mr. Sean Budd. Yes, yeah, well, I come still used to call her Jenny, uh, Jenny McCullum. Well, if you were ever going to uh, call her the Bud now, <laughs> the Budette, the Bud stuff. <laughs> if you were ever going to marry a pool player um, or a snooker player to uh, learn some good tricks of the trade off them, I don't think she could have married a better one. Marry the Bud. Leanne back to the table here. Maybe she can pot another um, double, but she's yeah. going for the safety. Yeah, she's left a long seven there. It's not what she intended. I think she was just trying to tie up her seven ball there. A 
was a lovely shot. Leaving herself this yellow in the middle pocket and um, maybe having her first first chance at taking out a frame now. She wasn't in that a little bit, but I think she's good though. I think she was trying for the opposite corner, opposite corner, but hey, it works out when you can take the luck, you take it. Absolutely. But then again, what do I know? She might have been going for that corner all along. Getting the rest out for this one, and um, she might play off the rail, or it looks like she's going to bring the white ball back. It's not bad. I yeah, should be happy with that. Not the easiest shot when you're using the rest and you've got the white ball so close to the object ball. But she definitely played that well. She'll be very happy with this. And nails it. 1-1. One, one. Lovely shot there, John. Takes out the first frame. Uh, second frame, sorry. One apiece. Jenny to break. Can we see a ball potted on this time? Go ball. 11 ball down. Nice ball. Have either of these won a title, do you know, before, John, um, at the uh, the women's um, New South Wales? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that. I think Jenny's taken one out before. Or at least one. Um, I think this might be um, Leanne's first time. If I remember right, but I could, like I said, I could be wrong because I've, you know, been around for a long time, so I wouldn't like to say that she hasn't, and she has. And putting them with ease at the moment, both players seem like they've got a really nice rhythm happening. And it's nice to see in the final when you see <coughs> a couple of competitors come through, start to get confident with the tables because they've played a whole, you know, long day or two days of, of play and then come to the final and feel a little bit free playing, it's really good to see. It's definitely on in the middle. Just have to play a nice little sun run through. Like that. I should be very happy with that. Both ladies playing some nice control pool. Getting getting good position on their uh, on their next balls and making some great pots. There's another one. Well that ball's on in the corner, I think. there with a white ball, unlucky, and that's going to be a ball in hand to uh, Leanne. And give her a nice chance to take the lead away from Jenny. Or take the lead. It's always interesting to see how some players go about their ball in hands with sort of seven balls out in the open. There's so many ways to run the rack. Everyone's got all different ideas, and I don't think there's any right way or definitely a wrong way, but... There's plenty of right ways to take it. I think it's whatever's comfortable for the player. Well, these are all pretty open, John, but I always like to um, <coughs> spend the first shot attacking, use it, making full use of the ball in hand and attacking uh, any any balls that I've got tied up on, you know, on a cushion or in a cluster. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. I'd like to just sort of doing what Leanne's doing now and sort of sweeping the table from one side to the other, working out where the black ball is and working to it rather than away from it than back to it. But then again, it's always what you're comfortable with, you know, so it's whatever you feel comfortable with, you go for. Absolutely, but um, that does make a lot of sense, though, John. I like to leave the last couple of balls or the last ball near the black as, as my, um, unless unless there's uh, no way other around it, but the last ball near the black, I, I usually leave as to my last ball to get a good bit of position on that black. 
probably what makes you such a good player, John. Thank you very much, John. You're welcome. You're not too bad yourself, mate. Cheers. I think um, what I'd like to do is get myself a, some kind of a ranking and um, do a little bit better in, in competitions like these ladies, but... Have you played in many of the state finals, Jamie? I haven't, John. I've, I've always been um, I've been cooking, been a chef for the last 15 years, and I've always had a job that's very unsociable hours, but I've got a, got a new job lately that uh, gives me weekends off and night times off, so there's no time like the present to um, to get stuck into Paul in a, in a big way. I think Leanne got a little bit unlucky just before that shot there. She's landed, she landed all good. She landed hard up on the black and just didn't leave that two ball or four ball on. But unfortunately, left her a long, hard two. She's left herself very close to this one, but um, I'm just wondering what she's going to do with it. If she's going to um, attempt a pot or... Uh, Double of the cut, I think. I mm. don't see a safety there available. She might be able to slice this in the middle or go for the double. I think she's going for the cut. Not an easy shot. She's going to be flinging that white ball around quite a fair bit. Mm. Yeah, she's nominating the double there, John. So um, good luck to you, Jen. Leanne's back in play and she's got a nice nice little run out. One's a little bit dodgy on the cushion there, but um, I'm sure she can take that out and uh, make this yeah. game her own. I, I don't think it's going to pose to be a problem for Leanne. Well, she's deciding to go for it first. Oh, it's a nice shot as well. Great Very shot, Leanne. Very good shot. She would have left herself perfectly um, snooker in Jen there if she'd have missed that. So maybe it was a good first shot. Yeah, no, that was brilliant. That was a great shot. Very confidently played as well. So 1-1. One, one. Leanne's on the black and uh, she's got a chance to take this 2-1. Takes the time nicely than the black. And you see some players sort of get up on the black. When they get to it, they just sort of try to rush it and get it over with. I think it's good to take the time and make a little bit sure of it and just nail it, just like Leanne did. I've rushed a lot of um, <coughs> a lot of last balls and you know blacks and nine balls myself, John. And I think there's a lot of wise words have come out of your mouth, mate, when we've been playing together. And I've rushed and and you, you know. And I've watched you, and, and you often, you might get down and, and just feel like you're queuing a bit fast. That's a bit unlucky there by Jen. Yeah, very unlucky. And um, I've noticed you always stand back up, chalk your queue, and, and walk around the table if need be, calm yourself down a bit, and uh, and then go in for the kill, which is, you know, it's a really good way to settle your nerves and, and you know, c compose yourself. Yeah, well, um, eight ball and, you know, Q sports in general, it's such a mind game half the time as well that you really do need to stay composed in your head and try to shut out any other th thoughts besides putting that ball and getting on to the next one. Yeah, I think if you've got a steady head game, you're going to be doing well. But as the pressure of the run out builds up on you as you pot one ball and the next and the next, you know, the pressure builds up and it's, I think composing yourself in the black is is the right thing to do in, uh, in any situation. Yeah, no, see, I don't really understand that. I don't really feel pressure when I play. Sorry. For the benefit of the audience there, Jono's <laughs> giggling away from the <laughs> microphone. Ooh. Yeah, maybe a little bit of nerves coming out on that one, though. And this would, be, this would be the time to pound for, you know, player obviously making a, an error. And if you can put them framed away, you can really play on someone's head. Landed a little bit straight on this 14. She should have liked some angle to knock out that ball there. Yeah. Should be happy with that result though. 
Wembley's tight pockets uh, giving us a little wave there and saying hello not leaving Leanne a great deal though John and yeah, I think she'd probably be looking at the safety here maybe trying to leave her up the other end of the table beside that's hitting that six ball that's what I think I'd sort of try to do but absolutely not the not the easy shot she's left I'm looking at uh, that green at the top of there and just just touching that and sneaking up behind the uh, the blue or the purple is it I don't think it's a four Jamie Oh, what that's a the great one. shot. Well played. Nice shot. Not getting completely behind it or half, but it's a fantastic shot. Yeah, no, it's a nice shot. She has left, the, I think, the 11 ball, but the, I think the main thing in that shot is just making sure that she can't hit that 14 that's hanging over the pocket. The problem is when you're playing people like Jenny, her awesome queuing just really, <laughs> just, um, yeah, she can pop those balls Absolutely. and get people in trouble. Absolutely, that was fantastic uh, she's display potted, there. She's potted a few of them already. Well, she was tight. I mean, quite near the cushion there, but very near the cushion, and she's pulled off a long pot down the table. And to take it a 3-1 lead here. Let's see if she can make the most of it. Again, getting rid of the difficult balls early. Um, and uh, leaving herself a good chance of taking this uh, to 2-2. To 3-1, two -two. I believe, Jamie. Excuse me, John. Sorry, 3-1. So the key here, I think she's got to really try to land on the right side of the seven ball to get on the three. She definitely has the angle, but it's yeah, a tough shot. Tough shot coming up. Let's see if she can put it away. Kind of scratch hanging in the oh. pocket. Oh. She's been a bit fortunate there, but um, I bet she won't be complaining. Yeah, well that's it. You, you hear a lot of people say they say, "Oh, he's not lucky just landing in the middle of in in the drawers of the pocket." But you know, I think you should be happy just getting back to the table because that should have been the chance that she should have been three one down. So, and I think she will be happy with that. Great pot there. A good shot under pressure. Left herself a long shot on this uh, <coughs> this red. Sorry, sorry, she's uh, she's on, um, taking the bigs, of course. Well, Leanne's back with another chance here again, John. forward spin or she's going to come oh, she's missed it wow another bite of the cherry by uh, for Jennifer here and uh, let's see what she can do with this lovely shot a nice shot straight back in the middle of the table that's where you want to be most times when you've got a few balls out in the open you don't want to be too, too close to your work because you don't need to be too close to your work Oh, beautiful! Using a little bit of uh, 
check side there off the cushion to straighten up the white so it didn't come around the other side of the black. Getting the rest out for the second time and uh, hopefully she's going to capitalise with it. Prove a costly miss there. It's a bit back and forth uh, this frame, isn't it, John? Yeah, it's been a little bit scrappy this frame. Jenny will be very